Behind every curtain, someone is waiting. Someone is watching. Someone is hiding. Just there's something about women when they're the bad guy. It, I, it's extra scary to me. You know, something about a guy being a maniac. I don't. You just look at, it, ah, fuck that guy. Fuck him. I, you know, whatever. I drop kick him. You know, you just think shit like that for the most part. But there's something about. I don't know. It's they've always freaked me out. And for some reason, you know, I was thinking about that. How like women. You know, women being the uh, the Michael Myers to me is way more scary than the guy. Um, and I remember when I way back in like eighty two or eighty three, when I first got cable, um, I was watching late night, and I can't even you know I I really feel bad for people of this generation who have just grown up with cable. You have no idea how fucking insane cable is. You have no idea. We had three networks, two UHFs, and that was it. And nobody cursed. No titties, no nothing. It was it was unbelievable. Unbelievable when that shit came out. So <clears throat> anyways, so I'm watching Late Night. And I was watching this movie. And I looked it up on YouTube. It's actually, the movie is called Curtains. And... Uh, it has one of the most bizarre, fucked up scenes. You know, I went back and I watched it. It really didn't hold up over time. Um, but back in the day, it really fucking freaked me out. Um, it Basically, there's a scene in that movie, Curtains, where there's a girl who's out on a pond. And she's fucking taking... I can't even explain it. For, I forget because I haven't seen the movie in so long. The clip I watched, she's basically uncovering snow. And you think it's a dead body, but it's a doll underneath. And as she's holding it up, the doll has a weird look on her face. And then they're sort of cutting to these fucking ice skates, slowly, in slow motion, just beginning to skate across the pond towards this girl. And of course, she has no idea that this fucking thing is coming towards her. And they just show it from a distance, and it just looks like a person. And as it gets closer and closer... It just, it's this fucking psycho, f I, I think it's a woman, I can't even remember, but it looks like a woman, it's got a female face, like a witch face with long hair, and she's skating like she's speed skating, and then she pulls out like this fucking sickle. <laughs> I can't, ex it's fucked up, right? I mean, I don't know. Dude, I went from Barney Miller to that. That was, that's what it was like to have no cable and then to have that. And I'm like literally 12, 13 fucking years old. The movie's called Curtains. Just look it up. Two weeks later. Bill, after hearing your story about the movie Curtains, it brought back memories of a movie that I saw when I was young. It was called The Unseen. All right, you guys got to hear the description of this movie. And just to let you know, he ruins the ending. But I still have to see this. This is a fucking classic. He goes, I haven't seen it since I was a kid back in the 80s, but being six and seeing this one did a number on me for a while. Pretty much the movie is about three chicks who can't find a hotel to stay in, so they end up at a bed and breakfast type place. Jesus, there's an original beginning to a horror movie. Um, so there's some quote, there's some quote unquote thing that attacks these people that stay there. The part that screwed me up is that the thing that attacked them um, would attack through the oversized air vents in the walls and floors, pulling them through and killing them. So after watching it, I was terrified to go into the bathroom because all of our bathrooms in our house had vents right behind me as I took a piss. For the longest time, I would have to use the bathroom with the door open in case something would try to get me. I look back at it now and think to myself what a pussy I was, but hey, I guess that's why six-year-olds shouldn't watch horror flicks. Here's to four months of pissing with the door open. All right, now here's the spoiler alert, everybody. Here's, uh, if you're going to rent curtains, you don't want to hear, uh, you don't want to hear this last part. Um, and of course, okay, by the way, the thing in the movie turns out to be a retarded kid that the parents kept locked in the basement, and all he wanted to do was play with people. Apl apparently, his play was a little rough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>
Nose to the ground and lie. Mama, open that. Praying on the bedside, watching all the dead fly.